All right, I figured I'd start here. We're in Route 66, Warwick, Oklahoma, and this is a motorcycle museum. And cruising through, this guy has so much stuff to see. Memorabilia, bikes, but I've probably figured I'd give everybody a run through of what we're here to see. This is room number one of like 10. There's my son Easton here with us. But we come through here, Chad Easton. Some pretty cool old stuff here. Everything from dirt bikes, street bikes, a couple of flat track bikes in the back corner we'll get to. Some old racers. A couple old Makos. Some of these things sitting up on stands. Little DG racers in the back corner. Some of these are my favorite, these giant airheads on these bikes. This one's pretty cool. Big old two strokes. Some handmade pipes trying to get some power out of them. Here's over from here. One of the bikes as a kid that I used to love to look at in the magazines, these old Honda CR125s. I'm going to pause it and go to another room. Hold on. We'll start in over here. Cruise across this. A couple movie bike. Some old Yamahas. And then Easton, what's up there for that top corner? What is that thing? My bike. Is that your dirt bike? That is, all the way up there. Easton's little XR50, CRF50. You saw that up in the corner. You thought that was pretty cool. We'll kind of keep on cruising around here. Let's see what we got over here. Somebody's old road tripping bike. That thing was actually last registered in 1992. Doing pretty good. Cruise through some of these guys. An old simplex with an automatic over here. I'm surprised that I actually know what those are, but my dad's old enough that he's taught me a couple of things. The Jawa 50cc. Still in the crate. Never been used. Some of these bikes uh, have never been started, never been moved. Uh, 1999 Excelsior Henderson. Thing's pretty cool. Not much to it. Never been ridden. Never been pulled out of the crate. Still factory wrapped. Same thing up here with the Triumph Bonneville. Uh, some of you guys might know what those things are. Here's a couple of Yamahas and some Suzukis. A couple of race bikes over there. Cruise back over to here. Couple of mattresses. These are really cool bikes. It's amazing you can get two cylinders in this thing right here. One coming on the other side, one coming out the other side. Single head design. Really clean triumphs. Cruise through here. Probably an old flat track bike here. Somebody custom made. Got something crazy out of it. Another Kawasaki 250cc trail, Motessa. A couple original trials bikes here. That's what this guy is. Over here, the little old school Hondas. And then something I find kind of interesting is a Husqvarna. It's 250cc. If you can read this thing, the bike's brand new, never been started. Pretty cool. Batteries never even had any lead in it. Any any water in there. A couple cobwebs, some old BSAs right here. Little police bike. And then on to some of my favorite things. Not so much this Suzuki here, but this Yamaha flat tracker. Probably one of the next bikes that goes in my garage one of these days. Get another one of those guys. Used to love doing that as a kid. It's built a coos. Couple Hercules over here. Cruise through here. See some of his old cool stuff on the on the wall. Some Moto Guzzi banners. Couple race suits. Oh, and my son's trying to get in trouble by getting on somebody's bike here. Easton, how fast do you think you'd ride that thing? Would you go 200 miles an hour? Yes or no? 
Yeah, I didn't think so. All right, why don't you hop off that before you get in trouble, buddy? Good. These old school slicks. There ain't much to them there. Disc brakes don't do a whole lot. That one's not even mounted on there because it's locked up. Cruising through here. Some more Triumphs. Triumphs posted behind an Indian motorcycle banner. A lot of air-cooled stuff, a lot of old stuff. This is pretty cool. BMW Airhead. Johnny Phillips, this is your exact bike that you're currently riding. I'm not sure if you remember it, but it's uh, pretty identical. And if you notice, it's leaking as well. That's how you know BMW's got any kind of fluid in it. It's all coming out the bottom. What do you got here? What's cool about this one, buddy? The colors. Oh, you like the paint job on this guy? Yep. Thing's pretty cool. It's pretty darn wicked. Moto Guzzi with this giant wide seat here. And then the passenger they were hoping was a stick man. But kind of a cool bike. Some old Cushman's over here. Three grand, got no title. It's up for sale. Back in over to some Harleys and some Hondas. Oh, there's an old Taka right there. Suitcase cycle. Got some parts down here. A couple of helmets, small bells, qualifiers. So if you guys notice, this place is absolutely massive. This isn't even the, I got the gift shop over there. But it's all pretty cool. A lot of old stuff. I thought you guys might find it kind of interesting.